Joining me now is White House Communication Advisor for National Security, John Kirby. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I know I'm getting to New York and being <laughs> away from the president right now, but let's start with Israel and the strategy. The strategy for Hezbollah, the strategy with Israel. Israel um, using pagers, exploding pagers, blindsiding the U.S., arguably, on several instances, not giving them advance warning. There was an assassination of the Hamas leader in Tehran and uh, an air assault, and now calling up the troops and saying they're ready for uh, potentially a ground invasion. Well, the Israelis have been signaling now for quite some days uh, that they were going to turn their attention to this northern front. And as you heard the president say just this morning, and, and quite frankly yesterday in his General Assembly speech, uh, we believe that there's still time and space for diplomacy to work here. We don't believe that if your goal, as the prime minister has said, is to get families and uh, back to their homes in those kibbutzes and those towns and villages south of the border, that, that, that war is the way to do it. We still think there's, a, there's room to de-escalate through diplomacy, and that's exactly what we're working on, even as we're here in New York City. A senior official saying that you don't escalate to de-escalate. And the ambassador, Israeli ambassador, was just here and said that, that they've had all of these provocations and that they've got to get people back in their homes. Prime Minister Netanyahu did a video today saying that those people will get back to their homes. How, why is it safer for them to be in their homes in the north if there's an all-out war going on? Well, that's our point. I mean, we don't believe that an all-out war is the way to get them back to their homes and to do so in a sustainable way, Andrea, so that they can stay back home. They don't have to leave again. Now, look, I also have to say, you know, Israel's in a tough neighborhood, and they've been suffering a lot of rocket attacks from Hezbollah. Uh, they have a right to defend themselves. Uh, they have a, a right to to eliminate the terrorist threat to their to their uh, people, uh, and we understand that. Uh, they're still facing a threat by Hamas, which is why we're continuing to help them do that. But again, escalating this to an all-out war uh, seems counterproductive to the what is the stated objective, which is peace and security along that line. We talk to them all the time. One of our Negotiators was meeting, uh, Amos Hochstein was meeting with Defense Minister Gallant. And he did say that we've got to go with a military operation in the North, but they have to. not the scale. We did not have a heads up of the scale. Well, I, I'll let the Israelis speak to their operations. As you know, it's a sovereign nation. Um, no, uh, I'm speaking but... about the U.S. saying that we did not have notification of the extent of this operation. Again, I'll let them speak to their operations. And, and uh, obviously, we have our diplomatic conversations with the Israelis, and I'll leave it in that space alone. Um, we understand what they're trying to do. We certainly respect the need to go after that threat, but we just don't believe that an all-out war uh, is the best path forward here. The Pentagon has recommended the use of white phosphorus uh, in Ukraine. Uh, does the White House go along with that? We have some announcements to make in the next uh, day or two about support for Ukraine. I think I'll save that, a good uh, that idea? discussion. Um, we're going to make sure that Ukraine has the tools and the capabilities that they need um, and, uh, and that we're focused on them being able to succeed Long and prevail range on the battle. weapons into Russia. No change on that policy. And the pagers. Is that a good, I mean, incredible amount you know of ingenuity in this but isn't that opening up a whole new up a whole new front destate the whole world on communications i won't speak to those incidents in particular but what i will say i kind of go back to what i said before and what the president has made clear everything we've been doing andrea since the 8th of october has been meant for two things one to make sure israel can defend itself and two that we're not broadening this war we're not deepening well, well the before i lose you quickly we now know that there was a threat from Iran against Donald Trump's life and that they've interfered and hacked. What, do you, what is your message to Iran about that? We have talked very plainly about Iran's election interference and their malign activities. And what about activities. the threat to his life? This is something we've been monitoring for quite a while. Um, and it's uh, not just uh, the former president, but it's other former officials in his administration. This is something that uh, the Iranians have expressed interest in, and it's, it's, it's stuff that we're, we're monitoring it closely.